Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Kevin. Well, it's my night to make dinner and there's been something that I've been craving for a while now and I thought tonight I would show you guys how to make it. It is probably the easiest yet one of the best pot pie recipes that I've ever had. It's so easy to make. You guys are going to absolutely love this. I've been searching for a long time for a recipe that was easy to make, fast, didn't make me have to get out everything to make a homemade pie crust to make a homemade pot pie. We can throw this together in a matter of minutes and get it in the oven and we'll be able to eat an awesome homemade pot pie. Let's over, head over to the stove and we'll get started. Before we can get started making the actual pot pie, we need to make cream of chicken soup. Now, if you just buy cream of chicken soup in the store, that's fine. You'll just use a can of condensed cream of chicken soup. But if you want an easy way to make it at home so you don't have to buy it at the store, I'm gonna show you a real easy way to do it. So we're gonna start with a third of a cup of butter. This is butter that we made from our own cow. We're gonna put a third of a cup of butter in. We're gonna put this on extremely low heat. You wanna make sure you're not gonna burn this. Now I did already have it partially melted so I could measure it easier. So we're gonna put that on and we're gonna let that completely melt. And then to that we're going to have, add a third of a cup of flour and we're going to make what's called a roux, which is just butter and flour. And again, you want this on very low heat. And just mix that up until the flour is completely incorporated into the butter. Now you're going to just keep mixing this up until it turns just a little bit more brown than it is currently. And that's what you call a roux. As soon as you see it start to turn a little bit brown, we're gonna actually take it off the heat while we get the rest of our ingredients ready. All right, so that is starting to just turn a little bit brown. Now we're gonna add our other ingredients. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to add is a cup of our homemade chicken broth. We're just going to add that to the roux. And then we're also going to add one cup of milk. If you don't have a cow, you can just buy milk at the store. They sell it. And we're just going to whisk that all together. And then we're going to add about a half of a teaspoon of salt, but really it's to taste. Now we had salted butter, so I'm not gonna add quite as much. You can always add more later. And then we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And just a little bit of black pepper. But again, do that to however much you like. And now we're just going to keep whisking this. We're going to turn the heat up a little bit. The goal here is to bring it to a boil. And as soon as it starts to thicken, we'll take it off the heat. Alright, I've been stirring this for about five minutes. And you can see that it is now just starting to thicken up. So we're just going to keep stirring it. And it's going to get nice and thick here in just a minute. Let's move it to the back burner. I'm going to keep stirring it for just a minute, but then we'll just let it cool down and it'll keep thickening as it cools down. And that is a really easy way to make an alternative to the canned, you know, condensed cream of chicken soup that you buy in the store. All right, let's head back over to the counter and get everything else ready that we're going to need for our pot pie. All right, so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to cut up. Uh, we actually had a turkey breast last night for dinner. This is leftover, so we're going to actually use that. Instead of chicken, we're going to use turkey, but you can use chicken. You can use whatever you have. We're just going to cube this into whatever size pieces you would like in your pot pie. Remember the goal here is to make this fast and easy. This is one of those good recipes on a busy night. Now I'm going to cut up this entire turkey breast, but I'm probably only going to use about two cups of it in the uh, 
pot pie tonight. Save the rest. Have get one more meal out of it. Back over at the stove, we're gonna give our soup mix here just a little bit of a stir, and you can see how nice and thick that that has become, which is perfect. All right, we're gonna heat up the pan here. Well, actually, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start our oven. We're gonna preheat to 400 degrees. All right, so the first thing we're gonna add are some onions. We're using homegrown onions from last summer's garden. We just freeze them. That's the best way we have found to make them last for an entire year. So we're gonna add some onions and we're gonna pan fry those just a little bit. I'd say if you're using a fresh onion, maybe a quarter of an onion, half of an onion. You know, if you like more, add more. If you don't, add less. Skip it all together if you really don't like them. We're gonna let those fry just a little bit there. After that, we're gonna add some mixed veggies. We're just using Walmart organic mixed veggies. You can just steam these in the microwave if you'd like, but since we're already pan frying the onions, I'm just gonna add them right to the pan with the onions. We're gonna use the entire bag. Now the reason that we are putting these vegetables in the pan first, and we're actually gonna add the meat now as well, is because this recipe goes super fast in the oven. So if we were to put all of these veggies in there frozen, uh, they, they'd still be frozen when they come out of the oven. So we're just gonna do this in the pan so that they actually go into the oven already warm. You're basically just going to be baking the crust when we put it in the oven. Everything else will already be done and you're just heating it up. So we're just gonna pan fry this until I know everything is nice and hot and then we'll get ready to assemble the pot pie for the oven. All right, so now it's time to make the crust of the pot pie. We're actually gonna be using organic tortillas. Now, I'll be honest, this isn't my original idea. I actually saw this on another YouTube video, and I think they were making like quesadillas or something, and I thought, hey, that's a really good idea. I'm gonna try it out with some other things. And I tried it with this pot pie recipe, and it was awesome. So that's why I wanna show it to you guys today. So we buy these organic tortillas. I think these are Stacy's tortillas, they're called, Stacy's brand. We buy these through Azure Standard, and you can buy them like a case at a time. And they keep really well in the freezer, which is nice. And then you can just pull out a pack when you need them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay three of these tortillas. I'm using a cast iron pie pan here, but you can use any kind of pie pan that you have. And we're gonna lay three of them like that in our pie pan. And then we're just gonna set that off to the side for right now. I heard our oven beep that it's preheated, so we're gonna get going here so we can get this in the oven. I'm gonna bring over our veggies and our meat. And then I'm also gonna bring over the, the soup. We're gonna just add this all together. Get it all in there, you don't want to waste any. Just stir it up real good, and you can see just how nice and thick that that soup got. And that's the key, you need it to be nice and thick so that it doesn't just make your tortillas soggy when you put it in the oven. All right, so now that that's all mixed together, we're just gonna pour that right on top of the tortillas. We're just going to spread that around. And then we're going to fold our tortillas over the top. And just do the best you can to kind of fold everything up into the pie pan. Once it's all folded up, that's it. It's ready to go into the oven. 
We're going to put this in again at 400. We're going to put it in for about 20 minutes. I'll check it after about 15 just to make sure that it's all doing well. All right, my timer's gone off. It's been about 22 minutes since I put it in. I left it in a couple extra minutes. And let's see how it looks. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. Now we're actually gonna flip this upside down. So let's bring it over on the counter. All right, I'm gonna just take a plate. This is like the most nerve wracking part. Don't drop anything. All right. And we're gonna flip this upside down. And there we go. Look at that. Nice and golden brown, crispy on the bottom, all folded up. This is perfect. Now, it's going to be extremely hot, so we're going to let it sit for a while before we taste test it. But you guys are going to be amazed when you see how awesome this cuts and what a great, easy way this is to make pot pie. It's been about 10 minutes. I can't wait anymore. We need to try it. Well, I'm gonna just take a big piece. Look at that. Look how awesome that looks. Get the rest of the filling on there. I wish you guys could smell it because it smells awesome. I'm gonna give it a bite. Now it is still super hot. That is awesome. Perfect amount of salt, which is, I think you have to have a little bit on the salty side for a pot pie. This is perfect. So this took me about 45 minutes start to finish, including the 20 minutes that it took in the oven. This is a really awesome meal to make on a cold night, on a night when you're just busy. I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know what you think. Get creative with it. You can add, I mean, you could do like taco fillings in there. You could do chili in there. I mean, you could do whatever you want and it's gonna be awesome. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. You guys, if you're enjoying our channel, you're enjoying our content, I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button before you leave. Don't forget the absolute best way that you can help our channel is by sharing our videos on all of your social media. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.